Well, the Wolf administration's mask mandate takes effect tomorrow in public and private schools and daycares. Lots of parents are thrilled about it. Lots of parents are angry about it. And some are going to court, hoping to reverse course. A handful of parents protested Governor Wolf's mask mandate on the steps of the Capitol Monday. There are lots more parents like them across the state, less visible perhaps, but they're there. The governor said, I will not get involved in this. You will make those decisions. And then after school started, the change has created a great deal of chaos. Jesse Topper is a Republican state representative and parent of two school-aged kids. He signed on to this lawsuit, arguing Health Secretary Allison Beam doesn't have the legal authority to mandate masks in schools and daycares. This is outside the realm of what the uh, Department of Health is able to do under the Infectious Disease Control Act of 1955. To be sure, a large number of parents were also relieved when Wolf stepped in and mandated masks when a majority of schools chose not to. Kids under 12 can't yet protect themselves with vaccines. The CDC recommends face coverings indoors, and so do most doctors. I want to get past this idea that just because a medical expert or a field says something, that automatically that dictates public policy across the board because there are more considerations than that. And the more local you get, the better those considerations can be made. But Wolf insists the safety of kids during a pandemic is his top priority and insists his secretary of health can mandate masks. In a statement, his spokeswoman said the secretary of health's authority is clearly outlined in existing law. We need Republicans to stop spending their time undermining public health and instead encourage people to get vaccinated. Toppers encouraging school districts to comply with the mask mandate tomorrow until Commonwealth Court weighs in on the issue. Briefs are due in Commonwealth Court on Wednesday. Senator Jake Corman, also with two school-aged kids, also signed on to that lawsuit.